So let's go on the crude oil. The supply demand lines automatically draw in. Okay. So what we want to do, here's the supply demand from this morning. What we want to do is we want to see, this is crude oil this morning so far. It's had two buy setups because we're in an uptrend. Remember, moving averages are worthless by nature, but they're great for trend direction. I want to see is break through the demand or supply line. We're going up. I want to retest it. And I don't want to close below, like I said, I do not want to close below this demand line, the body of the candle. I want to see a positive market delta or a green reversal bar right at that line. And that's a buy setup. It's called an ABC long. We just had one here. We broke through. Broke through. We retest it, but we did not close below it. The body of the candle, not the wicks. I don't care about the wicks. The wicks can break through the demand line and supply line. The wicks can break through it. The body of the candle must straddle the supply or demand line before you get a reversal bar right here. The body of the candle cannot close below. So those are two buy setups this morning. Broke through, retested, went up, broke through, retested. Now these lines will automatically draw in this morning for you. They'll automatically draw in for new supply and demand lines. So what I'm talking about is that what I don't want to see happen is, if I can find one, right here. So let's say this is a buy setup. It wasn't a buy setup because you're in a downturn anyway, but you never got a, a reversal bar here. But let's say this is a buy setup and we're in an uptrend. If it comes down to it, if the body of the candle closes below it like this, it's a non-trade. It should close right on it. Green reversal bar, positive market delta, and go. Like this is okay. This trade's okay this morning. At 3 in this morning, we broke through, retested. It's straddling right on the line. That's okay. Here's a perfect example of what I look for a break retest. You broke through. Moving averages are cutting through. Smaller through the intermediate. Got down through the larger. Retested. Notice how we straddle. The body of that candle straddling the supply line. Then we get a reversal bar and a full retracement down here. Negative market delta. Full retrace above 90%. That is a sell setup. See, I'll show you another one, a non-trade. Let me see if I can find a non-trade. Here's a great example of a buy setup. Moving averages cross up. This is last night's trading. Smaller moving averages cross through the intermediate. Look how it broke through the demand, our supply line, sorry. Broke through. It retested. But notice the wicks broke the demand line. The wicks broke the demand line, but the body of the candle, meaning the open versus close, that's what I'm most that's what I'm concerned about at supply demand lines. Amateur traders trade wicks. We're smarter than that. We're more educated than that. We don't trade wicks. We trade the body of the candle. If that body of the candle closes below this level here before you get a red reversal bar. It's a lower probability trade, but it does not. It closes right. The wick's broken by a couple ticks, which is okay. As we look at the body of the candle, you get a full retracement. That's a good setup. I'll show you a non-trade. Let's see if I can find one. That never had a reversal. Let me find non-trade real quick. That's a sell. Okay, here we go. Here's a non-trade. So this is a good trade setup. Here's a non-trade. Watch. Here was a good trade setup. Now we know this is the best type of scenario. Old demand. Right here, old demand. See how it re gets rejected off that level several times? Be one of your best setups. Old demand. 
which I'll color this in like demand being, let's say blue. Old demand becomes new supply. I love this setup with the supply demand lines. Old demand, bounce, 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 break, retest, never close above it. It's a big trade we had yesterday at 11 o'clock. Stop right at my supply line at 3201. Great sell setup said that here in the M top. Beautiful sell because old demand where bounce, 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 bounce. So you had several bounces right there. Here's your first break retest, break retest, bounce, 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 break. Old demand becomes new supply. Love this setup. You'll see that over and over again. Let me show you a non-trade. A non-trade to me is if I come down and I'm breaking through. See how close the body of the candle close here. We want to break away and retest, right? but then it closed right back above it, that's not a trade for me. I want to see it break through, get away from it, retest it, but never body the candle close back above it. Look how it stopped right to the exact tick. Right to the exact tick. That to me is a great setup. It's holding supply. Right to that exact bar. This is not a setup to me. I broke through, I retested, but the body of the candle, the open versus closed, not the wicks, closed. So that tells me that that's a non-trade. Okay. That's what we're trying to do, break, retest, trade. So here's our last long setup. 